So I'm Nat, mum to Bobby, Demi and Izzy. So Izzy's got GO1, which is a rare metabolic condition. She had brain surgery on her third birthday. She had um, deep brain stimulator put in, which has really helped her movement disorder. Um, but in January that broke. It was absolutely awful. There was, without having the surgery, there was a risk to her life. So didn't really have a choice in getting it fixed. But once we got to London, we couldn't, well, I couldn't leave. Couldn't have my other children with me. So I spent six weeks up there knowing that she was gonna have brain surgery with her really, really poorly. And no one around because I was so far away from home. It was, it was hard. It was quite difficult. You know that she's really ill and you can't go and see her, but thankfully we had phones and that so we could video call her. So that was helpful, but it was still a struggle. I actually found this surgery more scary than the first time because she was in such a bad state. I mean, she had to have a blood transfusion to be strong enough to have the surgery. I've never seen her like that before. It was really scary. Um, so yeah, she, I feel lucky she's still here. I wanted to nominate them because they've had to put up a, with a lot during the pandemic. Everybody has, but with Izzy's medical needs and being separated as a family, it's been even more difficult for them. I was really surprised to hear that you'd chosen my nomination, but um, I think they deserve it. They've had a terrible year. It's about five years ago now. They were doing the hospital visits yearly at Christmas. She was given tickets to come to the football. So when we came to the match, Izzy had the best time. I was like, wow, why didn't I think to ask her before? So since then, we've done as much as we can with getting to football and we went to watch the ladies and it's just kind of grown from there. And then when Demi saw Fliss play, she was like, that's what I want to do. The whole family is something they can do together and it is a break from the hospital and they, they eat, sleep, breathe, Brighton football. <laughs> it's the whole match day routine that, you know, the whole getting up, getting ready for football. If it's a lunchtime kickoff, we wake up really early knowing that we, we can go. We love it. It's incredible because it's just something that we both love doing together. All joking aside, football actually really helps. It's an escape for all of us. Just doing something so normal, for us it's, it's a real thing to just have something really positive to look forward to. I can't put it in words how special it is. How do you feel, Mum, about being a fan of the season? A bit embarrassed. <laughs> so I, feel, I feel like there's just so many other deserving people right? but I really appreciate that our support hasn't gone unnoticed but we do it for the love of the club. <laughs>